Good morning, good evening, uh, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Um, it's August 9th, uh, 2018. And, uh, well, had some family uh, issues. Uh, one of my family members was rushed to the hospital on emergency uh, surgery. Turns out it was her gallbladder. Now, this all could have been avoided about a year and a half ago when she first complained to her doctor, that's the white coat of truth that we all believe, uh, about abdominal pains down down here, you know? Of course, the doctor said nothing but, oh, you know, it's just gas. Don't worry about it. So that white coat of truth diagnosed it wrong because it turned out her gallbladder was infected and uh, was affecting her. Um... This all could have been avoided. She's 80 years old. Does she need this kind of fucking stress with these doctors? You know, it really pisses me off that these doctors just think they know everything. Anyway, she's all right. She's out of uh, the uh, hospital. She just uh, uh, got out today. Uh, she was released this morning. So she did have some complications with a fever and something like that, but it's fine. So that worry's over. You know, between moving her and flat earth, my head just wasn't into making videos, you know. Uh, I hate taking breaks. I really do. But it has to be done to keep your sanity <laughs> in a way. Am I right? You know. Anyway, I'm down in the city right now at work. Right off of Fort Washington Avenue. And it's right by the river over here. If you notice, I must have, well, you'll hear them go by, but I must have heard like 50 helicopters pass by since I've been sitting here. That's a lot of helicopters. And you know how annoying those things are? I mean, they make so much noise. It's unbelievable. How, how do people tolerate that nonsense? You know, between helicopters, lead blowers that are happening 24-7, it's almost like they want to create noise to frustrate us, you know, to, to keep us, I don't know, aggravated in a way. I am, you know, maybe I could be wrong. Maybe I'm looking too much into it. But, you know, I remember a time when you could hear a pin drop in, in, in my neighborhood. Now, the minute, 8 o'clock, it's blast off time, lead blower time. So, you make sense out of that. It's just within the last 15 years, I've noticed. Um... You know, if, if you are a flat earther and you're watching this and, and you've been doing it as long as, as me, um, and it's been three or four years for you right now, and you're still uncovering truths, you know, layers and layers of layers upon lies. And if you're making videos, don't get discouraged about people that are taking your videos and chopping them up and putting them on their channel and trying to make us look like fools. Because there'll be a day... And that day will come soon. Where they're going to need us. And they're going to want to talk to us because they're going to be so fucking confused because they still think they live on a ball. <laughs> when we know we live on a flat plane. We're the smartest people in the world knowing this information. This piece of the puzzle that has been a lie throughout in, in, in our entire lives. You know? I spent, I spent close to 40 years thinking we lived on a ball. But then a light bulb went off and I became the smartest person in the world, just like you are for being here and watching me and listening to what I have to say. Well, anyway, that, that's that with the uh, family member. Uh, pray for her. She's all right. Uh, she really gave us a scare. You know, I mean, to be that age and to have to go through that with your body um, and surgery, I, I realize a gallbladder surgery is, is minimal now. It's not a big thing, but... You know, it, it's just having your body go through this, you know. I mean, it's, it, it really, it could have been avoided. Just a simple x-ray a year and a half ago or a year ago could have put this all to an end. Okay, anyway, um, let me get back to Flat Earth here. Uh, I, I really want to to talk to you about the uh, space shuttle. Um, and I was on somebody's channel the other day watching, watching this, and he had a lot of interesting things to say, and I'm going to share it with you right now. Uh, I, I believe his channel is UAP, uh, and he's got plenty of subs, so, you know, just look for it. It's called the Space Shuttle Hoax. If 
just in case if I screwed his uh, channel name up. Um, and he discussed how possibly the, the middle uh, rocket, that's the orange rocket, uh, is actually filled with helium. And, and these things are like bouncy houses, you know. And that's all it basically is. And w w Which is an amazing thought, because I want you to go back, way back, to the first space shuttle launch that we had. And just take a quick look at it, you know. Uncover the lies, because this thing does not look like a solid rocket booster at all. I mean, it really doesn't. Go back to the Challenger shuttle uh, disaster. Well, fake disaster, of course. Um, and, and take a look at the way the sun glistens off of this um, this rocket. There goes another helicopter. I'm telling you, every, every like three minutes, one passes by here. When That reflection that you see of the sun right at the tip of that rocket, it just looks, it, it doesn't look like it's reflecting off a of metal. It looks like it's reflecting off of some sort of like plastic layer or, or something like that. And I, I think it very well could be, because if you look at these launches, about, I don't know, five seconds before they let, let these things go, you could see the thing is wobbling a little bit, almost like it's losing its balance. How, how, how could that be? This thing is solid, you know? I mean, this has got three solid rocket bo boosters supposedly on it, that way God knows what, and then the shuttle on it. How could this thing just be like hovering around, and then it takes off? All right. The two rockets on the side, yes, those are actually rockets. I'm talking about the cylinder in the middle possibly is a bouncy house filled with helium. And it would explain a lot. When these things explode, they explode into a billion pieces. There's no trace of anything. How could that be? There's no metal. There's no nothing. It's just nothing. They, all they have pieces of are the shuttle. They get pieces of that because that probably, you know, that is real. Well, not real. It's going to go into space because there is no space. They curve off into the Bermuda Triangle, and they either ditch them or they blow them up. Quite presumably, I would suspect blow them up, because they're so high up there, you can't even see them. With the chemtrails, and that's another thing I want to get into very quickly with you, um, and everything else, you can't see these things. And I'm sure you're not allowed, I, I can guarantee you that you're not allowed to be, if you are on a plane, uh, anywhere near these things when, when they're about to ditch them, you know? And also in the flat earth, I did want to bring up some other things. No, sorry, just, I had to mention that, you know, they're just walking. I got my windows rolled down. It's a beautiful day here down in NYC. Come on down. Enjoy yourself. Talk about flat earth with somebody. Maybe you'll wake something, somebody up. But also another thing with the space shuttle um, is when they, when they do ditch these things and they do apparently explode, they don't have any pieces left. They've got nothing there, all right, except pieces of the shuttle itself. And the chemtrails, of course, if you had a plane, you can't be anywhere near these things. Just like a little background on NASA, I want to tell you, this thing, they bought 126,000 acres down there. And they kicked everybody out of that area where they launched this thing. Everybody they just kicked out. Get the fuck out of here. Bye-bye. We just bought your land. Go screw yourself. You're not allowed anywhere near these things when they're about to launch, nor are you allowed anywhere near it when it's just being set up uh, and they're doing a preparatory uh, launch on it. No, you're not allowed anywhere near this thing. You know why? Because if you really took a look at this ridiculous, fake thing that NASA puts up there, those snakes, you'll see that that is probably a helium balloon up there, and the space shuttle doesn't have any seats in it. It's just a, uh, completely hollowed out with nothing in it. Why would there be? Oh, yeah, oh, but the, oh, yeah that's right, because of the uh, astronauts actually go into the shuttle, and they wave to us. No, they don't. They go in there and then they sneak out like little snakes that they are. And then they get back off. <laughs> oh, man. It, it's just so bad. Check out his channel. He'll tell you all about the shuttle. I'm going to agree with him on it because it, it sounds really true. Everything that I've seen, just study these. Study it when, when the rocket's like kind of wobbling around a little bit. You, you know what I'm talking about? And you'll see the lies. And you'll uncover, uh, after like three years, I'm still uncovering things. It's unbelievable. I mean, all of these years now, I'm still uncovering things. And it gets deeper and deeper and deeper. About Hollywood. About the sports. About, about the government. About the billionaires. About all the companies that are out there. That's why Flat Earthers can't stop. Because there's so much shit out there. There's so much fucking material that we're dealing with here. That we've got to wake people up. 
You know, it's not only flat, well, it is all about flat earth, but it's not only waking people up to the fact like that. Take some other subject and wake them up about that subject and then get into flat earth. That's the best way to do it. You really have to do it like that. You know, wake, just find out what they're in, sports especially. All right, sports, everybody loves sports. I, I, I felt like I was the only white Caucasian who hated sports. Apparently I'm not. All right. I think sports is the biggest bullshit racket out there. None of it's fucking true. It's all set. They all know who the winners are going to be way before they start the game. You know, these people get paid $150 million. Don't you see? Don't you see the fakeness? You got to see some of these houses that they have. It's sickening. It really does sicken me. You know, it's a short career, so they better save their money. But who cares? Who cares about them? They don't care about you. Nor do the actors care about you. Nor do the politicians care about you. Nor does the government care about you. You got to care about yourself. And that's it, bottom line. You can't rely on all those other lies that are out there because that's what they are. They're all lies. They're all creative. They know we live on a flat plane. They know we're motionless. They know we live in a firmament, under, underneath the firmament. I, I'm going to get into the stars with you later on I have a uh, philosophy about them um, and possibly what the firmament could be made out of because I think it's probably made out of the most rarest object on this flat plane okay and that's why I think the stars have that well, not stars but whatever when you look at them they glitter okay now, the watering effect could be our atmosphere. I'm going to agree with you on that because the atmosphere is very thick. That's why we can't see across the ocean to another continent. Um, but, all right, anyway, uh, more on that later. I, I, I just wanted to get something out there and, and just say hi to everybody, you know, and, and just let you know what I've been up to the last uh, a few days because it's been, uh, it's, it's been nerve-wracking, you know, it really has. But everything seems to be good. Oh, the chemtrails. I forgot about this, okay? The chemtrails, all right? This is another explanation for the chemtrails, too. When they uh, ditched the shuttle in the Bermuda Triangle or wherever it may be, um, they're going to relaunch. They actually have a, a space shuttle somewhere else, maybe Area 51 or something like that. I have no idea. Um, which is a jet, yeah, basically. I mean, it takes off. It, it's, you don't, it doesn't need to go piggyback on some plane somewhere or piggyback on rockets. Uh, it's a regular plane, guys. I got bad news for you. So they get the one that they're actually going to show land. All right. And that's when I think they start doing the chemtrails. They fly this fucking thing up in the sky. There's chemtrails all over the place. There are clouds all over the place. You can't see shit anyway. You know, and then they fly it right down and show it off to everybody. Yeah, we just went to the moon. We all did this. Oh, all right. Anyway, I'll get more into this later on. But, uh, Okay, well, I thank you for subbing. I thank you for uh, viewing my videos. And I thank you for letting me be a part of your life.